Let's talk about purchase orders. We want to process purchase orders to our vendors when we want to order goods and supplies or services from our vendors. To process a purchase order, come here under the Tasks pull-down menu and come down to Purchase Orders. Before we click on this, let's refresh a little bit about this Tasks pull-down menu. Notice the section we're in now is the second section. This section relates to accounts payable and expenses. The top section related to accounts receivable and revenues. Now purchase orders is the beginning step in the accounts payable expenses process. It is not a required step. We don't need to cut a purchase order for every single expense our business incurs. We only want to cut a purchase order when it's necessary to be very specific about what we're ordering from a vendor. Let's click on the purchase orders choice and open the purchase orders window. Now to talk about the purchase order screen a little bit let's simply open an existing purchase order that's in the system. Let's look at this one to, to Brenneman Chemical Supply. Here note we have our vendor ID, our vendor name, and our remit to address which is shaded. Peachtree allows only one remit to address per vendor. Over here is our PO number field. Leave this number blank when you're processing a purchase order and Peachtree will assign the next available purchase order number to this PO. Over here is our date field and our good through field. We encourage you to always have something in the good through field. Remember a purchase order is a legally binding agreement between you and the vendor and you don't want to leave this date open-ended. Over here is the close purchase orders box. There's two ways to close a purchase order either manually by checking this box or once all the items have been received on the purchase order Peachtree will automatically close the purchase order. Now let's look at the ship to button. Let's click on it and go into the ship to window. Our address shows up because we want these products delivered to our office. If we wanted these products to be delivered directly to our customer, then this would be a drop shipment, and we would check this box. We would indicate who the customer ID is here. Let's cancel out of this window, and let's come down to these headers. We can specify our ship via here, any discount and display terms that we require on this purchase order. Here is the accounts payable field. Be very careful with this field because whatever we enter here is what Peachtree will pull up the next time we enter this window. So in other words, if we change this from the 20,000 account and then we leave this screen and open the screen again, then it's going to be what was entered here last. Most users of Peachtree only have one accounts payable account. So we encourage you to set this field and then leave it alone. We see a lot of errors when people change this field. Oftentimes Peachtree users think that this is an, to be used for an inventory account or an expense account. That's not the case this is your accounts payable account. Next you'll come down and you fill out the purchase order using quantities, what the item ID is, descriptions, unit price, and amount to come up with a total purchase order amount. This one is two ninety seven sixty. Once you have this purchase order completed, you're ready to process it. Now it's important to note that you don't have to use the quantity or the item sells. You can simply put in descriptions. We can order anything we want. Just like that. Now let's look at what this purchase order looks like. Here is the PO. Let's magnify it a little bit. 
scroll down and make sure that our ice cream is on there for one dollar. Here's a place for signature on the purchase order.